Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kamika, aka Mommy Mika, and this channel is about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Okay, let's get into my vacation. Like, it has literally been like a Pinterest, a picture, like on my wall, it's so hot. It's been like a Pinterest, a picture on the wall that I had of this for years and I was like you know what I'm just gonna live out loud I'm just gonna do what I love I'm just gonna see the world like I, I just I deserve that I deserve this luxury I deserve it so I was like okay where do I want to go like what do I want to do for my birthday so I was like you know what I see Greece is open. I see so many fabulous people going to Greece, especially the black girls, especially the UK black girls. So I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me just see what's going on. So I was like, all right, around July, I was like, let me just book a trip. Cause I want every birthday I have to book a trip. Like I can't, I don't want a dinner. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want anything like that. So. I decided to book a trip to Greece. So I went with my boyfriend and we spent 10 days. So we went to Mykonos. Um, um, first we went to Santorini for three days and we went to Mykonos and then we went to Athens. Um, I didn't really talk to the camera, which I should have. So, you know, it's my first vlog guys. You gotta bear with me. I did a lot of B-roll, so is me here after the fact talking to tell you guys about what happened and how my trip was and everything. So the flight to Athens was eight eight hour eight hours and forty five minutes from New York. So from JFK to Athens was eight forty five. We left like five p.m. like five ish and we got into Athens at least like 10 a.m. at their time their local time and that was the longest flight I ever took in my life like let me tell you jet lag jet lag like <laughs> it was too much it was unbearable but we got there then we had to wait because the other flight that I took Volateo Volateo which I didn't know was like the spirit of the UK that flight was like crazy. It was rough. It was. It, it felt like a spirit flight, basically. So that took 45 minutes to get into Santorini. And so once we got into Santorini, like, it seemed so surreal. Like, the airport, the sun, it was extremely windy the time we were there. Like, extremely windy. Like, I could not wear my 13 by 4 wig. Like, the wind was... The wind was just blowing it back. Like I should have had a closure or something, but I wanted to take the pictures because the following day on the 6th, I did the Santorini dress, which was like, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Like in pictures, it looks so secluded. It looks so like just you and the photographer, but no, it was busy. We were in Ia and Ia is one of the popular towns that everyone goes, very touristy, very popular. So we went there and it was hot. I mean, the wind was just blowing the hair all over. Like I had a 28 inch 13 by four. Like I shouldn't have even done that. I should have just had a closure. I had my hair curled perfectly. And let me tell you, like it was just a hot mess, but I'm gonna insert some pictures. The pictures came out gorgeous actually. I mean, the curls wasn't as popping as I wanted to be because the wind it was just extremely windy and you guys need to know that once you go to like Santorini and Mykonos it is windy like I did not expect it to be so damn windy like it's hot and windy at the same damn time and I'm just like so confused like why why is it so freaking windy but the views were spectacular the hotel that we stayed at was Sea Sky Hotel, and we had the honeymoon suite. So you could see the caldera, you could see like the beautiful, beautiful sunset. It was between Ia and Thera. Thera, I don't, know, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Ira and Thera, but it was like very secluded, very quiet. Um, it was probably like 15 minute drive from Ia. 
and it's another like 20 minute drive from Fira and it was really nice even though we had a short stay there it was really nice like it was very secluded very quiet originally I had another hotel booked but because I was trying to pay it and it was flagging like whatever payment system they had kept flagging it my bank kept flagging it so it couldn't process and I was just getting frustrated so I just canceled that hotel in short notice I just booked the sea sky hotel which was great like in the clips you see that you know the hotel is beautiful so this is my room in Greece it's between Ia and Fira and this is the sea sky hotel This is gorgeous. And we got the honeymoon suite. It's not as nice as the other one, but it's decent. The other one was nicer. That's the hotel. That's fine. The other one is more modern. Scene is beautiful. Everything about Santorini is gorgeous, very picturesque. It looked like a screensaver in real life. Like everything was gorgeous. It was just a little windy. That's all I gotta complain about the wind. I'm not used to that, and it's very hilly, but of course, it's an island, so. But everything is gorgeous. Next time I do go back, I'll probably go back like around May when there's not a lot of people, not a lot of tourists. The day I head to the flying dress, um, that was a beautiful experience. Um, my photographer was Yuri and all my information is going to be at the bottom. I don't know if this is very loud, but all my information is going to be in the bottom of where I booked the photo shoot. Who it was, he was Yuri. Um, the number of my dress, everything was gorgeous. Um, it was just a little awkward being in public and people watching you while you're taking the pictures because I thought like it was just like in a secluded shot, a secluded area, and it wasn't. It was just like you're in the public and everyone's just walking by seeing you take these pictures. And um, that was the only thing because me, my introverted self, I felt a little weird about it but and the sun was beaming and it was hot but the outcome came and it was so beautiful i'm going to show you guys the pictures and the slow stills the videos of me doing that and that was just like the epic part of being in Santorini. i never did a photo shoot in my life so i was just like so excited just to do that one photo shoot and i will be doing more because i felt like a queen i felt glamorous <laughs> So after that, um, we just walked around the town and we were just so exhausted from walking around all day from taking the pictures. So we just went back to the hotel and just relaxed and just had hookah and just was chilling in the hotel because we were extremely still jet lagged from the eight, nine hour flight that we had in the time difference because the time difference is like seven hours. So. That was something to get used to. Um, the following day, we did go back to Ia and just walk around. And we went and had a restaurant called Skira. And Skira was very like a pizzeria type of restaurant. The sunset there is just unbelievable. Like different hues of orange and yellow like i've never seen these type of hues of, of the sunset like in new york you see a regular sunset yeah it looks nice but just the way it is over the caldera the ocean is just so stunning and it's so amazing how people every everywhere you go like when the sun sets everyone in santorini like stops and admires and looks at the sunset and it was just it was just a beautiful experience. I loved that. Um, I did do, like throughout my whole time in Greece, I did feel a little uncomfortable. Like 
I'm so used to diversity in New York and I mean Santorini is diverse but you know I did get stares let's just be honest like as a black darker woman and maybe thicker I did get some stares some looks and um you know it is what it is but um it was a it was a different experience I've never been to Europe before it's my first time in Europe and it was just different <laughs> they know we're American basically because just how we are but it was just a different experience I would like to travel to other places of Europe maybe other places that's more diverse um, not just mainly <laughs> you know one color so hopefully I get to experience that very soon anyone wants to take me there <laughs> I want to go so let me know any companies or anything I would love to do be a travel vlogger and transition into that instead of just doing beauty um so after our three days we took the ferry and that was crazy taking the ferry whatever company i took it with the ferry was crazy like everything was madness we were pushing fighting going up to the ferry i just <laughs> girl i don't even know that was just madness and um we end up going to mykonos and mykonos was like my favorite part because especially the hotel a yannick sweets spa hotel like as soon as i got there they had cake they had wine they had welcoming um the warm rag, they had everything. Everything was laid out so perfectly. Everything was laid out nicely. That's me recording on both phones. Shower, which is stunning. Then you go here. Here is the closets and they light up so gorgeous and here it came with toiletries And come around. Came with complimentary drinks, water, bathtub. Here's the pool. And they made my time, my three nights there, epic. Like anything I wanted, they were there. They made sure everything, even complimentary pickup, complimentary pickup and complimentary drop off to where we were going. And I would definitely go back just for that hotel. Um, I'm going to tell you guys the room that's going to be in the description box. We did have a, a pool, but it was so cold the days that we were there. Like the last day was the warmest day and it was cold. Like I couldn't even enjoy the pools because it was like windy and cold. And um, that was a great time. Like we didn't even do like partying or anything like that. Like I didn't do the whole party scene of Mykonos. I didn't feel like I wanted to that much and it was just not my vibe i'm not a big party person but we did we did go to delos or delos island and we did explore that island and it was very interesting to learn about the gods and the temples that they made in delos island um we also walked around mykonos town and i found a cute little bag so pretty <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, so in Mykonos town, they have a lot of cute little shops. And I was not intending on shopping at all. I was not intending on shopping at all. But then when I walked past and I saw this bag, I was like, I have to get this bag. It's so cute. Originally in the display, the bag, the straps was like a neon, which you told me I could switch it out. And this is like a handmade bag. The designer is like a local Greek designer. Her name is Lulu. And I saw this, Lulu. Let me show you guys. It says Lulu right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It says Lulu. But this bag was so cute. And I was like, nah, I have to buy this bag. It's super cute. It's different. And it's handmade. So I was like, I don't know the name of the shop. I try to screenshot the name of the shot and I'm gonna find out if I can find it. But when I saw this, I was like, nah, this bag is super cute. I will be wearing and using this bag. And then also when I went, I also saw these glasses, these Balenciagas in a shop. And I was like, they're super cute. I really like them. This is what I wore during the trip. Cause I was like, nah, these are fire. So these are the two things that I bought in Mykonos town. Um, most of the, those are the two things I bought in Mykonos town. So <laughs> we just walked around, like they had cute little shops. They had, we went to this gelato place. He had um, crepes and ice cream. I didn't really want crepes and ice cream. Like we ate, the food was delicious. Like everything was fresh. Everything was freshly made. It tastes completely different from the States. And I would definitely just go back just for the food. Like everything was so delicious. So fresh and so delicious. Um, it was, it was, it was just the food. The food was really good. <laughs> Yeah, the food, Slovaki. We went to Slovaki Story, and that was good too. Mykonos Town is always busy day and night. Um, we did go at night as well. It's just, it was, it was a busy place. Like that's where everything, act, the action happened. We also went to Little Venice, where they have the little, the little, the little restaurants. And we walked past. We didn't really sit down at the restaurants, but there was like. We just walked past it just to see, and then we walked past the windmills and everything. It was, everything was nice, everything was scenic, everything was picturesque, but once again, like the time we went, it was very touristy, it was very busy. So it's like everyone is around, the ships and the cruise comes into town at a certain times, so it was very hectic and very busy. Um, I would definitely go in the slower months without everyone around. But besides that, everything was nice. After that, um, we did leave again and then we took another ferry, which was like a three hour ferry to Athens. And in Athens, we stayed at the Electra Metropolis Hotel. And we had a little view of um, the Acropolis. And we stayed there for like two nights and it's more my vibe like Athens because I'm guess because I'm from New York City like it's more of a city vibe and I see myself living in the city so it was more my type of speed um the Acropolis was amazing to see I learned so much information about the Acropolis the Acropolis Museum um, we also met friends, which was great. We met a whole bunch of people from the States, from Atlanta, from Texas, which was great. Um, and then and then we just walked around. We went to Monastraki, but I didn't really record Monastraki. It was like a street full of like, um, like, like a street full of different vendors and different stores. And... I mean, I didn't really shop there. We just walked through it just to see, to see, and we walked through Athens just to see. And it's just like any typical city. It gave me New York vibes. It gave me <laughs> LA vibes. It was very, that type of vibe. People walking everywhere, stores everywhere. Um, 
and that's how we pretty much ended the vacation um I, it was a good vacation like I, I explored I went somewhere different um, and it was just a different vibe um, I would go back I would go back in the cooler months and I go back more in the quiet months where there's less people less tourists and I would probably go to different islands because we went to the more touristy popular expensive islands i would go more to like paddles or crete or Rhodes. i would go to more of those islands instead of the islands that we went to it's mykonos and santorini but we had such a short time that i couldn't really explore those islands we only were there for 10 days like to really explore and to really enjoy the whole country we would need at least two to three weeks just to island hop and just to see different places but besides that um gorgeous country sunny beautiful the heat i definitely got tan i got like three shades darker don't let this don't let this um studio light fool you it was extremely hot and i got extremely dark um I am trying to plan a next trip in a few months, but so far it was an epic trip. It was a, a great trip. I, my highlight was the dress, the Santorini dress and the hotel Mykonos. Um, we did get like spa, we did everything like the works and it, it was just the best birthday gift. Seriously, me and gotta go somewhere for my birthday. But if you guys like this and like this type of style video, tell me if you like this type of vlog. This is my first time vlogging, so I didn't really talk to the camera, which I should have. Um, I'm going to do that more often. <laughs> but let me let me know, guys. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel, okay?